NASCAR's Cup Series cars are going to be flying around Talladega Super Speedway on Sunday for the next NASCAR Cup Series playoffs race, but hopefully they won't be flying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary Gastelou, and this is A Car Report, as in American Cars and Racing Report, if you haven't gotten that just yet. Ever since NASCAR's Next Generation Cup Series car launched in 2022, it's been tweaking it to not just make it a better race car, as in more competitive, but also a safer one. There have been several updates for the past three seasons, and a pretty major one coming up for the Yellowwood 500 at Talladega. One of the biggest problems with the cars is that when they get sideways on the fastest tracks, they tend to get airborne and flip over. After that happened to Corey LaJoy at Michigan this year, NASCAR mandated a change for the cars for the following race at Daytona. It was the addition of a vertical air deflector fin on the right side of the rear windshield to match the one that was on the left, which the wind tunnel told NASCAR would increase the speed needed to make the car get airborne and flip. Didn't work out as planned. Josh Berry flipped and Michael McDowell almost flipped. So the NASCAR R&D Center went back to the drawing board. And now it's come up with some even more significant changes for the race at Talladega. It's keeping both of the rear window fins, but it's making the roof rail on the right side of the vehicle two inches tall to help deflect the air and is adding a side skirt along the bottom of the car in front of the right wheel to keep air from getting under it. Along with that, it came up with an idea we really haven't ever seen before. You know those flaps that start popping up on the car when they start spinning? Well, those are designed to disrupt the air to keep the cars on the ground as well. And what NASCAR has done here is add a triangle of fabric that pops up when the flap opens to create another disruption for the air. Now, according to testing, this is going to increase the liftoff speed even more. But as we saw last time, until they try it in the real world with pack racing and contact and all that, we're really not going to know how it works. Unfortunately, the only way to find out if it works is if somebody spins or crashes in a way that would normally flip them over with the old design. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. But we'll be watching the race, I'll let you know how things work out and who wins. So head over to American Cars and racing.com on Sunday night for the latest NASCAR and automotive news.